Hello, my name is Mark Bowell. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the liver and gallbladder flush. For me, I think it's very important that we take personal responsibility for our own health. I think I don't I don't think it uh, I don't think we should focus on finding all of our answers in the doctors and in in just just accepting what people tell us. I, uh, I, a friend of mine uh, recommended to, for me to do a liver and gallbladder flush, and since then I have done two liver and gallbladder flushes and pulled out anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 gallstones out of my body. I'm 28 years old, and it, it just really, you know, not, not fighting his recommendations, just kind of going along with it. He walked me through it the first time. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to expect, but some of the things that happened immediately after, I lost 30 pounds in the last five months without carefree uh, no issues I be I I after learning more about after seeing the gallstones I realized that I did not want to eat meat anymore uh, because since then I've learned more about you know what causes these problems so I give up meat is not required the and I started learning more about uh, just everything I try to try to take more notice and some of the things I've noticed uh, besides just losing weight, is I've had a lot more mental clarity. I'm starting to notice little little things, kind of in conversation, things I wouldn't have really had a full awareness of, or maybe a, uh, a week later I would be thinking about the conversation. I'm like, did he say that? Did he really? Did he mean what he meant? You know, I'm noticing things much quicker. I, I notice that my body is just getting a lot more detox. I'm, I'm feeling a lot lighter on my feet, and this is something I highly recommend to everyone. I also included at the very end of this uh, some pictures of my gallstones. I wanted to show people firsthand uh, what they look like. And so if you have a weak stomach, I do not recommend you watch, uh, finish watching it um, because, you know, people wanna, you know, people think things are disgusting. But I wanted to show you firsthand what is in our bodies. And uh, through eating processed food and eating uh, foods that have heavy metals and using uh, fertilizers that that have heavy metals and all kinds of crap that are genetically modified food that we should not be eating. I've been learning we should should not eat. It seems it seems like my body just feels a lot better. It's actually really interesting too. After you do your liver and gallbladder flush, you'll notice that your stomach and your body is very sensitive to unhealthy food. Uh, if I go and pig out, my my stomach the next day feels very very uh, sore, and if I eat uh, healthy food or just a vegetarian uh, or organic uh, food, my stomach is just does not feel as sore. It just actually feels okay. So, I highly recommend this. Again, I think we need to take personal responsibility, and we included some links on down below in the description, um, explaining step by step of how to do liver and gold butter flesh and. Hope you enjoy. All right, I'm going to be showing you the pictures now, so turn it off or just keep watching it. Talk to you later. Bye. And email me. Please leave comments, thumbs up if you like the video. And if you have any questions, please email me. I'll give you a call on my phone. doesn't matter. All we care about is that people get healthier and take responsibility for their own health. Two Epsom salts in the morning. I'm a couple hours away from those. That's when it's going to get really bad. But we're going to see what starts coming out right now. So what I ended up doing was I ended up uh, putting a net underneath uh, underneath me while I'm using the restroom uh, so it can collect everything and then we can see so do my best to help people out you know I don't care like looking I, I really honestly do not care if I look like an idiot if I can do something that can help people and that can potentially you know, save people from surgery or death or further enslavement, I'll do it. So, here you go. Yeah, I put a screen down so when I was using the restroom, I could uh, differentiate and wash it out for you guys so you could see the gallstones. And this is pretty amazing. These are all little gallstones. That's what they look like. Look how big some of these suckers are. They are some marble-sized gallstones right there. I'm 27 years old. In a few days from now, I'm going to be 28, and I just want to start that year as clean as possible. 
And man, and this is just the third time I had to do one more Epsom salt, and that's, uh, we're going to be pulling some more out. But just look at that. I mean, look at how big some of these suckers are. I mean, that is so crazy. I don't even want to touch it, but I mean, screw it, whatever. I'm going to wash my hands. Look how big that is. Look at that. That is blow, blowing my mind. <laughs> How nasty that is. And what I tell people to do is go to Google, research what gallstones are, look at them. And you're gonna see these look pretty dang identical. I mean, you got to, we got some really big knock, knocking ones right there. It's just, blow, blow my mind. 